Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Jessica, and today we're talking about showing the world we're God's people. So I was raised Catholic, went to Catholic school, had a uniform and everything. Fun fact, shoes were a big deal because they were the only thing that set me apart from other people that looked exactly like me every day. But being saturated in a Catholic bubble, I didn't have the best perspective of Christians. I had Christian neighbors, and honestly, they were judgy. I heard things from other people who didn't like that they were different and believed different things than us Catholics. Well, fortunately for me, I was a total punk my eighth grade year, and my mom felt like it was best to send me to a Christian high school, kind of switching up our whole Catholic school plan. And she thought this would be a place where there would be better examples for my very impressionable, rebellious self. When I started Christian high school, can I tell you, the students there were awful. They were gossiping all the time, mean, backbiting, and judgy. I mean, I didn't think ninth graders would be the best representation of this whole Jesus thing that I had heard so much about, but I was still taken back that they were like normal teens. Except there was this one group, and they were nice, and they were kind, welcoming, and caring. This was the group that invited me to their church. And after a whole year of resisting Christianity, partially due to the examples around me, Jesus won, and I said a wholehearted yes to him. As God's people, we are called to live in a way that reflects his way. Our verse for today highlights this. Let's check it out. We're in Deuteronomy 4, 5. See, I have taught you statutes and rules as the Lord my God commanded me, and that you should do them in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. And verse 6 says, Keep them and do them, for that will be your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples, who when they hear all the statutes will say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. When we faithfully follow God's commands, we are not only benefiting from it personally, but we also have a testimony that we are sharing with the world. We never know who is watching. We never know who is interested in Jesus and is looking to you to convince them that it's worth it. See, for Israel at this time of the writing, the surrounding nations would see their obedience and recognize the greatness of their God. The nations would see, oh, they listened to God, or they saw that they gave him credit, and look at how God blessed them. Look at how God fought for them. Our lives today demonstrate the reality of God's presence. Let's sit with that for a moment. Our lives demonstrate the reality of God's presence? Are we living in a way that makes others take notice? Do our actions, attitudes, and decisions reflect God's wisdom and understanding? In a world that often values self-interest and instant gratification, living out God's truth can be a powerful example. When we prioritize His commands, people around us see a different way of life, one marked by kindness, peace, integrity, and love. Our obedience to living God's way becomes a huge arrow directing others to get to know the God we serve. Today, sit with the Holy Spirit and ask, how am I being obedient? How am I doing? Is there any unconfessed sin in my life? Show me how I can be a better follower. Are there any ways I'm being disobedient? Show me how I can be a better example of a life devoted to you. Sit in that space and listen, and I'm sure you'll hear something. Rooting for you. Thanks for watching The Daily Devo.